procrastinate and never actually stayed in a hotel in the Windermere area. We've always seen to end our Lake District holidays and trips there. And last time we went before we went to Australia, we tried to do a, a boat tour on the lake. We ended up missing out because we went too late. There's like a cut off time that you can do it each day. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can actually do that this time. That'd be very nice. That was the main idea behind the present. There's something that we've been trying to do for multiple times. everyone I've just had breakfast downstairs with a lovely view of the river which mm. was lovely. Did you enjoy yours? Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very good. Sydney Rocks Cafe breakfast, not gonna lie. To be fair I had something similar to what I used to have over there as well. And we're all packed up, ready to go, and we're gonna head north of where we are at the minute, up to Windermere. We have been before, but it's a gorgeous little town with loads of little boutique shops, and we'll just have a wander around and show you what we see. We have been for a little walk around Windermere and walking down to Barnes on Windermere. We've been told about a lovely viewpoint and we're hopefully going to find a little cafe on the lake to go get a copper. It's not the best day, but we're making the most of it. It's standard for the lakes for us. This is the third time here and it's the third time the weather's been just as light.
little update from us. We're now just heading to Bisky How viewpoint, which is about a five minute walk back up from Lake Windermere to Windermere. That's a lie. Oh, it's up a very steep hill. It's if you at least 10, 15 minutes. Uh, we're just getting to a little um, signpost now, which we'll show you for if you're trying to find it for yourselves. Bear with us. Bisky How viewpoint. If you put it in on Apple Maps, it takes you straight to it. Just off the main road. Through some, through some trees. Keep an eye on that one. <laughs> Morning guys. Morning. So we have packed up all our stuff, we've been for breakfast and we are ready to check out. We need to check out within the next five minutes. So we're just putting final bits in the car, getting our water filled up for a nice day today. We're gonna do a bit of a walk. Hopefully, fingers crossed, get on a boat on the lake. We are currently on Lake Windermere on our little Millie motorised boat. We finally made it onto the river. <laughs> no, the, it's a lake. A lake. <laughs> so we've got Millie for an hour and the guide said that we basically avoid all islands and shallow parts of the lake which are buoyed with the uh, red boys and at full throttle if we aim to go north up the lake we can get about two and a half miles up in half an hour and then spin around and do the two and a half miles back as well so when we got here we managed to go in and book and our booking was two hours after we arrived just because of how busy it was yeah we got there at 11 a.m and they were taking bookings for quarter past one We've just come back at one o'clock and it's all sold out for the day, so you can actually book online. We'll try and find a link. Yeah, we'll put it in the you. description. But it's worth booking in advance to make sure you get the time you want, but also actually just get a boat. Yeah. Because this is what's happened to us so many times before we've wrapped up on the day and then we've not been able to do it because of time limitations. There are other 
options available if you want to get out on Lake Windermere. So there are rowing boat bookings and there are also ferry rides. But we noticed yesterday with the conditions being quite foggy and with it being poor visibility, yeah, you couldn't hire these kind of boats or the rowing boats, it was only the ferry ride. Two of the three ferries were off as well. This is a random Sunday in February, so it's not the height of summer and it still gets really booked up. So like I said, book online uh, just to make sure that you get the slot that you want and just that you get to do the activity. So the steering's pretty straightforward as well. To control the boat, you literally have the steering wheel and then you have the lever on the left, which is up is go, forward and uh, back for reverse. And that's pretty much it. you can get the ferry if you want to but it feels like you've got the whole of Lake Windermere to yourself it's, it's just you two on the whole of the water and also you're not going to knock yourself out the rest of the day by growing so yeah definitely recommend this that's all from us thank you guys for watching and we'll see you very soon for the next one